Let's talk about spiritual benefits of homeschooling. These aren't just benefits. I believe they're mandates from God. I believe Mm -hmm. that we are called to teach and train up our children spiritually. And I'm not saying that parents aren't doing that when they're kids in public school. I'm just saying, I love how you said it. We still have to be intentional, but we have the opportunity to be intentional. We have Mm -hmm. so much more opportunity when we homeschool to invest in these areas, to invest in the physical health, the mental, emotional health, and above all, the spiritual health. Like we have more opportunity to do it just because we have more time and more, you know, experiences with our kids. So I would say that the the benefits of the spiritual aspect side of of being healthy spiritually for our kids is, um, one, we aren't undoing everything they're learning you know Mm. it is not spiritually healthy for a kid to learn simultaneously at a very young age two different things you know one day they're learning quote unquote in their eyes mom's truth and then they go to school and they learn the world's truth you know we have the opportunity to teach them the truth in every every app every aspect through math through language through science through through all of it um i also think as a gardener To have a healthy garden, um, when you take your gardening to the next level, so many people have greenhouses, right? And and I think we've talked about this before, and this was not my idea. I stole it. I can't remember where, but people are like, oh, when you're a homeschool mom, you put your kids in a bubble. Aren't you worried that your kids are in a bubble? And I heard somewhere someone said, no, it's not a bubble. It's a greenhouse. It's an opportunity when they're little that they are protected from the elements of the world that will kill them. Like when you have a little tiny baby plant Mm – they they're not going to get stronger out there in a rainstorm and when the temperatures freeze they're going to die yeah. that's what's going to happen it's going to die but when you put it in a greenhouse where you can water it and feed it those roots get so much deeper and then when when it's time to go out like as an adult then they're going to be rooted they're going to be strong enough and that's healthy 